ChatGPT has grown to over 100 million users in two months. It was already the fastest growing consumer application in history, but this is insane. The large language model from OpenAI was released to the public in November, and it's already showing how AI will transform life as we know it. So I want to cover how to master ChatGPT quickly, I'll show you some cheat sheets, and also give a list of 10 ways you can immediately start implementing it to improve your life and save you time. AI is going to advance exponentially and become more and more integrated with everyday life. It won't replace everyone's jobs right away, but people that are good at using AI will. It's easy to get started messing around, and I assume you already have. You just create an account and start typing, and you'll get these incredibly human-like responses to anything you ask. But there's a couple secrets to mastering ChatGPT. The first is asking it the right questions, and guess what? Perfectly crafted questions for countless topics have already been created, and you can use them for yourself. Mad Lib style. And even better, it's insanely easy. I'll show you exactly how, explain why it works, then give some more secrets. But here's the list of sample prompts, and they demonstrate the first really important concept for improving your questions. They give ChatGPT an identity as an expert in the field you're seeking advice from. Just like in real life, you would seek out an expert in the field you're inquiring about, you make ChatGPT that expert. This sets its tone and results in a more comprehensive and focused response. And the next factor is you need to define your objective as specifically as possible. That's included in some of these prompts, but you'll need to add it in yourself and others. So I'll demonstrate with an example. I'll go with something broad. Let's say I want help being healthier. The typical way someone would ask is create a healthy meal plan and exercise routine for the week. And there we go. It's not bad. Now to level that up, I'll type, you are an expert nutritionist, health coach, and personal trainer. Use your knowledge of exercise science, nutrition advice, supplements, and other relevant factors in order to create a plan suitable for me. I am a 34 year old fit male. My goal is to lose some weight while focusing on increasing muscle mass. I would also like to optimize for longevity. Write me a meal plan and exercise routine for the week. So you can see how much better this response is with the extra protein and calories in the meal plan. And instead of mostly cardio based workouts, it uses a lot more strength oriented exercises. And because of the identity, it adds some additional information of the reasoning behind its choices. And in this case, being specific helps the most for obvious reasons, but you can see how drastic the change was. There's a massive list of prompts just like this for tons of scenarios. I have it linked down in the description. It's completely free. I'm not affiliated in any way, just a fan. And you can also use that link to download the desktop version of the app. I definitely recommend that. And I could go over more examples to drive this point home, but it's more helpful to do that on your own. You might have noticed I didn't copy and paste one of the prompts. I could have used like the personal trainer one. The concepts are simple, so with a little practice, you can write your own that cater to your specific scenario. On to the next step, refine. ChatGPT remembers the entire conversation within each chat, so it will still be acting as that same expert, but with any additional info you may have provided. But to refine this answer, you could say, I'm lactose intolerant, or provide that in a format that includes the calories and price for the meal plan, and only use body weight exercises I can do at home, then create a shopping list for me. Boom. It's already done a full exercise routine, plus a meal plan with all of the ingredients I need on a shopping list, everything catered to my specific body type and goals. The templates cover a lot of topics, and just reading through them can give you a lot of ideas on how to craft your own. So just get going, experiment, and refine your style. Depending on what the conversation's about, there are tons of follow-up prompts you can use to refine ChatGPT's answers. Some really useful ones are explain this like I'm five years old, compile this into an actionable list, summarize this into a tweet, write this in the perspective of a partner, a friend, a customer, a pirate, make this more formal or informal, add some humor or sarcasm to this, format this as a table, as bullet points. Those are some I use all the time. There are countless use cases for this that can save you time and optimize your life. Some easy ones to implement are writing for like essays, copy, scripts, emails, texts, tweets, and you can input whatever style you would like it to compose those in. You could also feed it a lot of your own writings and tell it to compose any of those in that same style. You know, write a loving text to my wife that sounds like me. Recommendations for things like products, books, or songs. You know, I liked this book or product. What's another similar one I might like? And then brainstorming is huge. Business ideas, titles, writing prompts, YouTube videos. And if the ideas it comes back with seem bland or generic, I like to add the requirement that the ideas should be unique or unconventional. Then coding, it can say 
save massive amounts of time writing or troubleshooting code. Another one I like a lot is simplifying complex topics like books, lectures, or articles. You can just copy a long article and paste it in there, then ask it to summarize it or give you some bullet points. Or you can give it the title of a self-help book and say, give me a list of five actionable insights from this book. Things like that, it's great. And then recommendations around health, exercise, or mental health. There's tons of ways to apply that to your life. It's great for recipes. You could list some ingredients you have on hand and ask it for recipes that use only those ingredients. Um, shopping lists, you can just write what meals you wanna make and tell it to make you a grocery list with the items you'll need. And also basically any question you would typically Google, it will usually get you the answer more quickly. It'll analyze a bunch of sites and give you the most relevant info. Just remember that this is a tool. Use it to save you time, but it's not perfect. You need to use your own judgment to know what to use and when to fact check. It's here to stay and over the next five to 10 years, maybe less, those that are competent and confident in using AI and implementing it in their life and work will get further ahead in their personal, professional, and probably romantic lives.